Hello, I'm back with Black Whisper Crafts, and there is a new collaboration, and it is called Make Art with Martha. Use the hashtag Make Art with Martha. It's an open collaboration hosted by Martha Makes Art, and we're uploading on the 19th of the month. And as Martha said, that could be subject to change, but right now it's the 19th of the month. And today's the first day. So, and the uh, prompt is bees. So I am going to get right in it, and I may not always make mine on camera, but it's really a simple thing today. And I like simple. That makes it fun. Sorry about that, I almost fell off my chair. There we go. I'm just gonna start out and this is what I'm using is the Distress Watercolor cardstock. I finally found it. Now that I'm finished with my oxide project. But I am going to just, I want these sides to be gold also. I'm going to paint the front of it gold, but this is just easier so I can do it all on camera so the sides will be dry. I'm just going to use this gold uh, metallic Sharpie marker. Yeah, this is going to be a fun collaboration. I'm really happy that it is not on the 13th of the month. <laughs> I have two others that I really enjoy doing, but they're on both on the 13th of the month. And this is the 19th. I'm really happy about that, Martha. And thanks for starting this. Hashtag make art with Martha. Just be sure and use that hashtag and tag Martha in it so that she can pop over and see what you're doing. There. That'll be perfect. Don't need much. And I'm going to use just some folk art metallic gold. Got my little stamping block. I just put plastic wrap over them. I'm just going to use a tiny bit. Because I don't need very much just makes it easier on the cleanup. I'm only going to do the outside edges because I'm going to have a the yellow piece of paper on the inside. I'm not sure how much I will need. Just going to do the outside uh, just for a little border. And I'm not particularly going in any direction. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I just want the gold on the edges. is having a wonderful Saturday. Let's see, just enough for the color. Doesn't matter to me if there's more in one spot. I'm just not real. I like to have fun crafting. I'm not a perfectionist at all. Not an artist, not a perfectionist. I just love to make things. It's almost dry already. It dries really quickly. So I am going to just stick that in the water. Just put that aside out of the way. I'll just put this right here. Set it aside. It'll be dry by the time we get back to it. And my yellow sheet. I am going to, let's see, what am I using? I'm using uh, Stampin' Up! Dragonfly Dreams. I don't know if this is still available or not, but I'm gonna use the bees. I've used these, uh, the cutout, the die cuts many times, but this is the first time I'm using the stamp. I've already stamped off onto something else just to make sure and see how it worked. But I am using uh, mustard seed distress ink. And it doesn't matter what medium that you use. I will put the link to Martha's video so you can see. But as you can see, I'm using paint. 
in uh, some paper crafting things. So, whatever medium she said that you want to use. I'm just going to stamp these bees on here just randomly. Just have a background of some sort. There's little to me what direction they're going. I just want them on the background, in the background. There, I think that's pretty much covered. Edges there. Haven't decided if I want to ink up the edges or not. Not decided that yet. I did use the mustard seed distress ink. I'm gonna wipe this off. No B. I'm gonna put it to the side so it's not a glare. Can't decide. Do I want to um, ink up the edges or not? I think I should. I think that would give it more definition if I inked up the edges. Yeah. Let's ink up the edges with black. Since our little bees here are black, I think that would work. And I'm using Distress Archival Ink, the permit. So I didn't want to use any oxides that would be water activated since I did paint on it the other part. I don't know why I reach over like that. I do that quite often. You'd think I was left-handed. I put things to my left. I'm not. I'm right-handed. Stick the corners just a little bit more. There. Awesome. That is perfect. Well only one way to go in there. There we go. Awesome. Finish with that. That's really cute. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it on here. Let me see if that's dry. Oh yeah, that's dry. It's just fine. Oops. <laughs> the bees are flying around. I'm using our art glitter glue. I was going to pop it up so it would stand out better, but I think I'm going to end up mailing this, so I wanted it to be as flat as can be, and that was really scary. <laughs> Just about made that big old mess, didn't I? <laughs> just enough gold you can see I'm glad I did the edges because that looks really cute so let's see what we want to do with the little bees here I just cut out my bees out of some scrap that I already had sitting there by my manual die cut machine Let's see, how do we want the bees 
place to go. This way and this way. Come here, B. I think that'll be cute. Oops. That'll work. Get these little bees glued down here. I don't know why I'm trying to use my left hand for some strange reason. I could use my left hand, but it takes me longer, so we'll not do that for this video. He can be hanging off a little bit there. That's cute. Oops. This bee is full of glue instead of honey, right? Again, I am to joining in with Martha on hashtag make art with Martha. So be sure and use that hashtag and tag Martha at Martha underscore makes underscore art. So she can pop over and see what you've created with the bees. And you don't absolutely have to do it on the 19th, whatever day is convenient for you. Just this month is bees. And I hope I got it right that the month of August is bees. If it's not, then um, I'll be doing another one. These are pretty random, aren't they? Well, they're probably not to them. They have their little system, their little busies, busy bees, making that wonderful honey. Oops, hold on. There's one right there, too. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, I missed that one. Well, it is glued down now. It is not gonna go, not gonna get it. It's not going to get taken back up. No problem. I'll just cut a teeny tiny piece of yellow cardstock after I'm finished with my video and just pop it in that little spot. I may just keep this and, uh, and use it in my botanical journal that I'm making. This would make a really cute journal card too, or just something to tuck in a pocket to be of interest. I might do that. So it could be a journal card, it could be a piece of Happy Mail, it could be lots of things. Let's make that one going off a little bit differently there. There. That's cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's cute. 
and the size of my watercolor piece is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. That'd be two and three quarters by four and a quarter. My yellow piece of paper that I stamped the yellow bees on is two and a half inches wide by four inches tall. And the bees from this Stampin' Up! Dragonfly Dreams die cut is the wingspan is one and three quarters and the body is one and a si one, one and one sixteenth. So there you go. That is my take on what uh, mixed media bees for hashtag make art with Martha and open collaboration. It is an open collaboration hosted by Martha Makes Art. And upload, we're uploading on the 19th of the month, according to Martha at this time. And it may change. But Martha would love for you to join and just use the hashtag Martha Makes Art and tag her in the video. She would like to go and see what you make. Thanks, Martha, for making this an open collaboration. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.